Hi, Coffee Beans. Hope you guys are loving and taking care of yourselves. This is my self-care Sunday routine, at-home spa day, whatever you may, just to unwind from the past week while rejuvenating for the week ahead. So I start by putting my hair into a bun to prepare to hop into the shower. I do suggest you shower before or after your bath because a bath is just not enough. I just prefer to do it before because I don't want to just sit in my dirt, okay? So I start by using my Dove Sensitive Skin Shower Gel. This is soap free, it smells amazing. And while I shower, I just like to visualize my stress and my anxiety washing away and feeling the water on my skin washing away all the negative thoughts down the drain. This just helps me to feel lighter and feel calmer and just be more intentional with my shower. So I go ahead and exfoliate with my My Earth Body Brush. You guys already know this is a fave. I absolutely love this brush and I got it from Clicks for about 50 Rand. I use the oh so heavenly dreaming of detox scrub to just give my feet some more TLC. This is a scrub which is rosa clay infused and rosa clay is known to mildly exfoliate and draw toxins out of the body and it also has some natural strawberry seeds which help to remove dry skin cells and reveal soft and radiant skin. After my shower, I prep for my face mask by steaming my face. Steaming helps to increase blood circulation and it also helps to loosen up all the buildup and gunk to give you a deeper cleanse and help your mask work even better. Masking is definitely one of my favorite self-care rituals, so today I'm using this L'Oreal Pure Clay Detox Mask, which I absolutely love. I'm a sucker for clay masks. They help to regulate sebum, so it keeps acne at bay for all my acne babies, and also helps to unclog pores and improve skin texture, and the gentle exfoliating properties also help with skin tone. So I use a foundation brush by Real Techniques to apply this because I I don't really want my fingers and my nails in there cross-contaminating my mask tub so um, yeah I just apply that all over my face you can bring it down to your neck I just didn't really feel like doing that on this day it is I the self-care princess period <laughs> Now moving on to one of my favorite self-care rituals once again, bath time. I start by lighting a candle, this cherry blossom candle which I got from Diskim. Cherry blossom is traditionally a Japanese scent which is known for purifying and calming the environment. I would suggest that you light your candle at the very beginning, even before your mask, so that it gives time for the scent to diffuse throughout the room as opposed to only lighting it when you're about to enter and soak into your bath. My bath is always a cocktail of so many different things. Today I use a Satis Skin Foam Bath in Ocean Paradise and I also use the Dr. Teal's Epsom Salts. And guys, I do not know where Epsom Salts have been my entire life. I absolutely love them. They help to ease aches and muscle pain. Like you literally get out of the bath an entirely new person. I highly recommend you investing in those. And the Bergamo in the salts actually helps to soothe senses and relieve stress. And then I use these also heavenly bath bombs. They don't really do anything. They don't have any benefits. They're literally just for color. I like to make my bath look pretty, period. 
So while my bath runs, I begin to wash off my clay mask and make way for my sheet mask. So the sheet mask which I use today, or any other day really, if you follow me on Instagram, then you know it's simply not a self-care day without a simple sheet mask, pun intended. So I absolutely love this sheet mask. You probably see me struggling to unfold it for a little bit there because guys, sheet mask, the stress that comes with unfolding a sheet mask is just unnecessary. But then they help to hydrate and soothe skin. Um, these ones specifically have hyaluronic acid which helps with hydration and holding water and the glycerin helps to keep the skin soft and supple. I know this mask only costs 29 rand, but then listen, one thing about me, I will get full value for my money. So I realize there's always a significant amount of serum left in the package, so I just squeeze all of that out and smooth it over my sheet mask. And then for your bath, I just recommend you have a relaxing drink. So I got me some Pinotage, honey. So I don't always have wine, but then today I was just feeling like having some wine. And wine actually helps to depress the central nervous system and slows down your senses and your thought process. So if you've had a day of hectic thinking, this helps to bring this all down. That's just a fancy way of me saying wine makes you make. <laughs> But anyways, this is me just vibing to my favorite playlist, which I'll plug in the description box and just feeling myself, you know? After my soak, I peel off my sheet mask and guys, what you know, like I haven't even put on any cream, any oils and my skin is already looking hydrated, plump and dewy. I literally swear by the simple sheet mask and here I am just vibing to my playlist because guys, how can you not feel like a baddie on self-care day, period. After using my Cetaphil cream, I then go in with some jojoba oil as an occlusive that helps to seal in moisture from the sheet mask and the cream. Jojoba oil is non-comedogenic, it won't clog your pores. It actually helps to control sebum and it helps with collagen production. So scars and acne, jojoba oil is your bestie. After my oil, I go in with a gua sha, which is a Chinese and Korean skincare fave. It has a firming and lifting effect and it also helps to improve blood circulation. I can't tell you where to get this exact one because I actually got it as a gift in a PR package. But then I have seen it on take a lot. So um, yeah, you guys should go cop it. I actually like it. And I do not know what song came on here, but I desperately want to know because the way I was vibing, chill, 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 chill. But then that's what self-care day is about, feeling like your best self. Now on to moisturizing, I use my current favorite lotion, which is the Vaseline Argan Oil Lotion. It helps with the appearance of stretch marks, scars, and it's just very hydrating. And moisturizing is another thing I like to be more intentional with. I know growing up, when our moms would oil us or put lotion on us, they were just so vigorous. And it just makes us feel like moisturizing is just another daunting task that we have to do after showering but i like to be more intentional with it and actually see it as less of a task that i just have to do but more as an act of self-care self-love appreciating and feeling on the skin that i am in i then also use tissue oil to keep my skin soft and supple and also help with scars
I then used this eucalyptus and mint foot mask from Woolworths. It has an anti-odor active ingredient, which helps, of course, with odor. And the eucalyptus has this amazing cooling effect, guys. Like, I can't perfectly articulate how soothing it is. But then the entire mask is just hydrating and moisturizing as well. It's like a sock kind of setup. So you just put them on and it has the sticker um, thing so that you secure it on nicely and yeah this is another thing which i just discovered recently but then i definitely love i leave the foot mask on for a while and then i moisturize with the vaseline body cream as opposed to the lotion because the cream is thicker and more appropriate for my feet now moving on, all my under 18s, the pinot is not for you, so I would suggest you get you some chamomile tea, which I absolutely love. It helps me to relax and chamomile tea is also good for people with insomnia, muscle spasms and also on self-care days where you have period pains. This is a good option. Physical self-care is nothing without mental self-care. So I go in with something I feel like is at the right at the top of your self-care day. Like if you're not going to do all the other things, at least journal to organize your thoughts. So you're going to sleep with a sound mind and you're not going to sleep with your mind racing all the anxiety and stress from the past week while stressing for the week ahead. I then go in and use this intensive moisturizing hand treatment by oh so heavenly which has argan oil shea butter cocoa butter to help fight free radicals while you sleep so it's actually an overnight hand treatment and then the keratin helps to restore damaged nails and i'm now trying to grow my natural nails so i love that and then to close everything off i reach for my pillow mist which uses aromatherapy through lavender oil to help soothe and calm your restless mind while you sleep. And I love this because it actually doesn't stain any of the fabric when you sleep. With that being said, my dearest coffee beans, I love you so much. Until next time.